Every time you look at it, you find new details, you find new ideas, you find new ways that the shadows kind of play on the ground. It's like sticking your head in a washing machine, basically. <laughs> I'm not sure that would be <laughs> so interesting. Well, right? Whoever's into that. <laughs> I think one of the important things about the Astrodome is that I think often people use these sort of structures to kind of signify, to create an identity for a city. Like the Hollywood sign. Like Brooklyn Bridge. You know, the Eiffel Tower. To my mind, the Astrodome sits in an extremely proud tradition of American engineering. It's a building that was the biggest indoor space, the biggest columnar structure in the world. And it by far. By far. Yeah. By double, actually. Yeah. The imposing 642 feet clear span of the roof becomes visible. When you look at this structure, you still have the essence of the astronome, but now you have what's really unique and I believe is a work of genius, which is the structure. And to reveal that just gives it, breathes new life into, into the astronome. When, when the astronome was conceived, Roy Hoffheinz, who I think can be described as the father of the Astrodome, he was in Rome and he saw the Colosseum. And what he saw in the Colosseum was a place where everyone gathers. And he wanted to bring that kind of idea, the idea that everyone gathers together, that everyone shares a city-wide memory together. He wanted to bring that to Houston and he did. And he did it in the form of the Astrodome. And he knew also it had to do the things that Houston does, which is to kind of like advance knowledge, to invent things, mm -hmm. to do things that no one else has done before. Mm -hmm. And he captured that spirit, I think, in that building. It's really interesting. People would actually come and watch the construction of this building. It was so interesting. And the, the dome and the base structure were built simultaneously. So it looked like steel fireworks hanging in the sky. But now, you know, people have figured out that it's maybe nicer to play baseball downtown because it <laughs> makes a better downtown. And it's true, it does. So things evolve, and that's why the Astronome became obsolete. There's no example of a stadium becoming obsolete and not being demolished ever. Even Yankee Stadium was torn down. The Astrodome sits in this sort of state. And we don't want it demolished, of course not. We just want the best of it brought out and make more of the best of it. So this model shows the complexity of the geometry of the building, right? Which is a combination of a lamella structure, which are these interwoven, this sort of grid of triangles, which is a great, you know, triangles are extremely strong structural uh, shape which allow you to span extremely long distances with a very thin structure. These trusses are only five feet thick and they span 640 feet. And so we kept testing ideas and then eventually we realized it's less of a building, it's more of a framework. So you could kind of hold big concerts, you could facilitate an art event, you could facilitate a rodeo. So there's a project that's called Adome Park and it's a project to transform the Astrodome into an active urban park by removing the exterior finishes and, and skin, the facades, and the, the ramp was one of the first pieces of yeah. infrastructure. People are always amazed. It's a two-mile walk from the ground level to the top of the Astrodome, and you're rewarded with this view of the Gulf or the downtown. So a kid, you know, from the third world could get on, on the metro on his bicycle and bike to the top of the Astrodome. And I think it allows the building to kind of live and live in the community yeah, to kind and of, be used. Yeah breathe new life into the building, essentially. You know, Houston is great. It's an engineering city. This is a city that put man on the moon. It's the most high-tech oil and gas engineering in the world. And energy is civilization, and Houston is at the center of that. And, and the Astrodome is one, is, is one monument to that kind of yeah. human effort. Yeah.